that accident, that whatever you want to call it, that wasn't for anyone else but me. love, 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 love stories like this and stories like yours. So you, you, you can't just hear it and not live it, man. You have to, you have to feel those emotions and so God would touch yesterday so that it can hit different today. So whatever the man's wife is, I don't know, but I know he has his son and he's by himself. And sometimes it's just going to be you and that demon by yourself. And that's not a bad thing because, yeah, it is body small. So you can carry it, but it's driving the hell out of you. And I tell you, like, he comes to a place where he's tired of it. Tried everything, right? You done tried the world. You done tried the club. You done tried faithful unfaithful you didn't try this try that drug this drug through that there ain't there ain't too much we haven't tried but you know where he comes to that's the only thing that could kill him but deliver him he comes to a place with God I won't try nothing else with you nothing else will do that's what he said to the to the disciples, the apostles, they trying to push other people off on them. Hey, excuse me if I don't show up to your church. S- excuse me if I don't support the prayer event. There won't nothing substitute being in his presence because he's the only one in this depiction that's even relevant. I don't want nobody else. I can't receive another word of prophecy. I don't need no promise. I need you to show up and do something demon struggles with them, they will fight. I don't know how long hours, if it's days, I don't know if it's a minute, but I know that there's a struggle there because he keeps throwing them in the fire. Where he puts you in the worst place because you don't believe the God that you serve, that you talk about, that you preach about. He says, I had to stop being abstract and being fire in your mind. I had to burn you in the flesh. No, no, this wasn't going to kill you. It's, it's not it's, it's, it's not everything that you've been through that killed you. Then don't let your encounter with God be what takes you out. And so he dies. He does. And that's okay. Jesus has this conversation with the man and says, Do you believe? And most people come to that place and don't even get the life because the boy is still healed. Yes, he's dead, but he's healed. Yes, he's dead, but he don't have a demon in him. Yes, he's dead. But what was hindering him don't hold him. Death does, but it holds all of us. So I don't know if he died, died. I don't know if he's just enveloped in a text to see that I'm alive now. Now I'm dead. But I do know that God saw through that and spoke to the daddy. Do you believe? And the honest place is God. I, I really don't. I have a little bit of faith. I don't know. I know what they said. I haven't experienced I've seen it on t- TV, but that wasn't you. That was some, some man with a jacket in his hand. Uh, they, they, they put you in these bottles and we buy them before we spend time with you. They write you in a book and then that becomes the idol before of what I put. I put before you and then he's like, I don't know. I have faith. I believe. That's what he said. But help where I don't believe. And that becomes the end of conversation that's good enough. Where you don't have to be... You don't, you don't have to be like a nutshell. You don't have to be a fan. You don't even have to be a mustard seed of faith. Just be honest and I don't... This is where I'm at. Can you meet me the rest of the way? I'll do you one better. Every place where you would doubt God, I'll make it live again. Every place where he didn't show up for you, where your daddy would leave you, where, where, where your mom would forget about you, where folk wouldn't call you, friends wouldn't have nothing to deal with you. Every place you come to that hurt you, say, get up from there. And know that he's called you to live 
so nobody else could ever bring you to a place of dying. You get so convenient. I don't know if he dies again. I don't know what happens here in the text beyond that point, but I know that he came and left with what he went for. It don't matter why you're here. It don't matter like your route of getting here. No matter what you struggle with before you got here. Thank, thank God I'm here and delivered, set free. It don't matter if I have this much or that much. It don't matter what I look like, who's attached to me, what I come in. And I'm leaving free. Never enter into a place in bondage and leave in a different form of bondage. Be free from that. And that be why I fight so hard. That be why I do this. That be why. And so many words my wife used to say, I, I'm a pit bull for her. And I don't mean to fight. But in my mind, I'm nibbling. Some people can't even take a nibble. Some people just need a lick, or some people will just need the bark. Some people don't even need the dog. Yeah. But I know that if certain situations hadn't happened, where would I be? See, it's, 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 I'm in agreement because I know the God who would work through the situation. It's, it's, it's not the hardness nor the softness. It's the God of this. Mm -hmm. So if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you'd be in a bad space. And, and we can have good situations are the worst ones is that it's the God that you knew today he weeds through all of that stuff because our our paths are different but for us to all end up in the same destination is 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 nothing but the goodness of the grace that he'll work in any kind of a place my mother used to walk through the house work in any kind of a place Whatever you, that's what he told me. So, whatever you need me to be, tell him the I am. He's a way, you know, a wheel in a way. The connotation to getting to the top mm -hmm. is only aligned to your ability to pull from the bottom. The problem is, is that the string that life gives us um, is not made for us to pull anybody else up. And when they try to uh, give a hand up uh, and I have my hand out, the string that they give us that we use, my claws cut it. So we're working against a broken system where our mindset is we're like crabs in a bucket but the ministry of the negro is just as crabs in a bucket we're not pulling each other down we're trying to get each other free the problem is i have no weight support on the other side because nobody makes it, but we're always trying. And the visibility of the anointing grace of God that is always on our side is that every time I make it to the top, I don't forget about the rest of the people that look like me. So I'm, I'm always waiting around for them to catch hold of me. And, and, and somewhere, some way, somehow, you have to connect to the crab inside of you that I won't let anything that's under me keep me from being loyal to everything that's under me. You understand what I'm saying? The mentality of a crab is a promised one. 
is one that I don't even want to leave the pit until we all out of it. I know that kind of history for us. I don't know all this other stuff where we will be against us and tearing us down, where we're hoodlums and thugs and thoughts and holes. I don't, I don't know that. I know us to be just what they describe us, to be crabs in a bucket. That wherever we go, we go together. But wherever we slide down and fall, that we can make it any place home. You, you, you'll see them talking and, and clapping and, and trying to get out, but they're doing it together. I know that reality to be my people. I know us to be in together, bind together, join together in hard situations. And when you're in a pot to boil, you're not crying and consumed that we're talking to. We're trying to trying to be consumed in like the laughter so that the tears don't overflow. I know that's the reality. I also know that like not many of us be free. And those that do have the burden of them that they left behind because they can't fall back backwards into the gun. So you hold on until they can hang on, but when hanging on to you, when hanging on to you breaks you, you fall back with them. But I would rather be with my people than be set apart from my people, thinking that I'm thriving in a world that's not for me. They'll always come and put you back in the bucket. And even if you're not in there, the conversation changes because why are we subscribing life to freedom of not being in the bucket when there is no bucket boundary for anybody else but us? At what point do you like speak to you about so no God is omnipresent? He's not restricted. This is Majestic. So I was like, you know, based off of what you could tell your child from yesterday, what would you tell them? for myself like nobody at the end of the day can make those decisions for you I feel like I would definitely need to stand with myself and just be like confident and speak up
love other people. It's you and you can. Is like I know you The things that have happened, they are not your fault. No matter what. I know it seems that you can't talk to somebody. Or no one's trying to listen. And your favorite person in the world is gone. Don't give up hope.